it's a beautiful day right now here in southern Samar. Oh, sorry. And this dog right here, they're following me. Bella and Buster, um, Steve's dogs. Bella, Buster. I need to sit him because he's surfing. He told me to come over. And we're off to see him. I don't know why this dog following me. But we're going to sit him. Oh, Bella, you're sleeping, man. Oh my god, these dogs. He just wants to come. Oh my god, look at big babes. Hey. What are you doing? Bella. I don't know where Steam. It's really hard for me to see far because I didn't have my eyeglasses with me so I can tell which one is Steam. I think that's him right there. Yeah, that's that's my half bun, I can tell. This dog is, is still following me. I don't know why. I fed him this morning and now they're following me. Oh, there's a secret. There's a hidden. Oh yeah. Down there. I don't know guys. This place is just really nice. It's so beautiful. I'm not really fan of water but really this place is incredible. Someone is getting her bikini picture. It looks so scary. I look so golden brown. <laughs> I'm going to talk about my experience about my surgery. I had a minor surgery. Um, I had my wisdom extracted like five days ago, and it's um healing. As you can see, it's, it's still a bit swollen, but not that much compared to last time. So it's really it's um it's you know kind of funny how people were like telling me that and that includes Tim and Alex they were telling me that it's going to be really painful and of course during my surgery they gave me um, anesthesia and <laughs> how do you call it they were just telling me that Tim needs to carry me after my surgery after the the wisdom extraction because it's going to be painful and I can't be able to walk anymore and I was like really like that that's also one of the reason guys why I was like a bit scared during the surgery because I heard this the stories that it's going to be really painful and it, it will be hard for me to walk that's why it made me scary but after the surgery it's it is not it was not painful as I thought it was going to be just just like what they had told me but yeah I I was it was also really nice because during the surgery the the, the doctor was constantly asking me if I was comfortable if I felt any pain and he was he, he gave me anesthesia and he was just really nice he was talking to me during the during the surgery he was trying to make sure that I was not scared which is really nice of him so after the surgery it took like it took like almost one hour probably like 45 minutes because um 
the the one of my this um he only extracted two of my wisdom and next time will be this area right here and it's done the the impacted one was the first one he extracted and it was the one causing pain and you know thought it is really not that something to be really happy about because it's really uncomfortable and I experienced thought it because because of the impacted thought and it was just really painful guys and it was uncomfortable uh, when I first found out that because the reason why I found out that I already had my wisdom I already have my wisdom it was because I felt like my pain and it was really hard for me to sleep and that's when I, I consulted um, a dentist and that's when I found out that I already had my wisdom and he told me that it needs to be extracted and it was that was the first time that I felt that I experienced having a toothache because when I was growing up I really don't have any problem with my teeth even when I was a kid although I of course when I was a kid I I experienced cavities but those were just like baby tooth or whatever you call it so yeah it's also really also what they call this when I, when I was also in high school I have um, I had a lot of classmates experiencing tooth aches and I just really couldn't relate to them you know because when I was in a high school I did not experience it my myself I only experienced it not until last year because last year that was last year when I found out that I already have my wisdom and some of them were complaining how painful it was some of them were crying because they they said that it was uncomfortable for them to sleep at night because it was just constantly aching you know and yeah it's really not nice and this was the one who the impactive one down here it was the one who was causing me pain which is I'm really happy that finally it's gone once it it heals completely this this two right here will be extracted in the next couple of days or in a few weeks we'll have to wait that was just my experience during my surgery and after the surgery team waited for me there outside the outside the clinic for for over one hour i think because when we got there they had to prepare all the equipments that will be needed for for the extraction and i was also pres prescribed arcoxia which is for pain and swelling and amoxicillin which is an anti antibiotic and i was i was told to take amoxicillin for like five days something like that and our cook shop for like three days so yeah it's healing now after the surgery i wasn't really able to talk that much although i did not experience pain it wasn't really painful even like three days four days after the extraction i really did not felt any pain guys which is really surprising and i and at this and at the same time of course i'm really happy because i did not experience the pain oh. so night before my surgery we had to we had to take dale to my parents house because um they were the one who was looking out Dell of I mean nights before my surgery because I, I was told that I'm not allowed allowed to carry heavy heavy stuff, heavy things. And Dell is really heavy and he really likes it when I'm constantly carrying him. I'm not I mean he's a baby. Good morning everyone. I woke up like 40 minutes ago and I'm, I'm going to go to the counter to order my breakfast. It's very late. It's already almost 1, 11 in the morning. Um, I really am struggling to sleep early. My body got used to it ever since I got into college.
I always sleep late and now I'm used to it my body is like my body won't sleep not until 12 in the morning which is <laughs> really sad but yeah I'm going to get breakfast I'm very very hungry see you then I have here my brunch <gasps> this is um I ordered a fried prawn and a um I love their pancake their pancake is my favorite So as you can see, I'm still chewing on one side of my mouth because as much as possible, I don't want to chew on both sides as long as it's not yet held or totally held. I mean, it's not painful. I just, I just don't want to risk it. I want to chew on both sides when it's totally held. Yeah. I just finished eating and I have some lip left over but I'm going to eat it later so there yeah. thank you for watching this vlog till the very end always remember that you are responsible for your every action that you make in your life please don't forget to pray and see you to my next vlog bye bye